What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. She's talking about Terrifier 2 in this video here again today because we got an exclusive from Deadline that updated us on the release information as it pertains to where Terrifier 2 will be released at, how it's going to be released. I don't believe this mentioned a specific release date just yet, but again, talking about the Halloween season is when we should expect to see Art the Clown return in this highly anticipated sequel to the 2016 movie Terrifier from Damien Leone, who we know has told us to subscribe to his YouTube channel. And I guess that is still going to be the destination for where we will get to see the official trailer that's coming. And of course, he'll also reconfirm these release details that now has been made exclusively reported through Bloody Disgusting and Deadline alike. So apparently Bloody Disgusting Bloody Disgusting is going to be bringing Art the Clown back to life in theaters and exclusively on Screenbox, Screenbox this fall. Now, in the article, they stated their own article, Bloody Disgusting, that BD. They saying all of us here at Bloody Disgusting are beyond excited to announce that we have partnered with Screenbox to bring Terrifier 2 straight to horror fans this coming fall. First reported by Deadline, the ultra gory slasher will open in theaters nationwide this Halloween season before streaming exclusively on the Bloody Disgusting powered Screenbox. More details are forthcoming, and then they went on about more info for Terrifier 2, uh, the highly anticipated sequel to the cult favorite slasher film from Damon Leone. Welcomes back David Howard Thorne as the demonic killer, Art the Clown, and it also introduces Lauren Levera as Sienna, who will become an instant fan favorite. Also returning is Samantha Scafidi, who will reprise her role as Victoria Hayes. Horror icon Felissa Rose, who I've talked about, that's Angela from Sleepaway Camp, also makes an appearance in the movie as well. Terrifier 2 sees Art the Clown up to his old tricks once again, following his gruesome demise in the first film. A sinister presence has brought Art back to life to reign terror on the residents of Miles County. On Halloween night, he returns to the unassuming town and sets his sights on fresh prey. A teenage girl and her little brother, portrayed by Lavera and Elliot Fulham, respectively. So... Now, as far as some comments that came out, but they said that just like I think this is coming from Damien Leon. Yeah, Damien Leon said this in the Bloody Disgusting article. He said, just like our incredible fan base, Bloody Disgusting immediately recognized the film's the film franchise's potential and acknowledged Art the Clown as a new and formidable presence in the genre. It was encouraging to find the perfect home for our batshit crazy, no holds barred, balls to the wall horror film after three. A drearish years of production, a global pandemic, and endless endless gallons of blood. Our goal was to create a horror film that was boundary pushing, fresh yet old school, and demented as hell. You know a film you can take the kids to. We are thrilled. To, what he said was, you know, a film you can take the kids to. We are thrilled to finally answer. We are thrilled to finally answer that once dreaded question. So when does Terrifier 2 come out? Now, Brad Me Brad Miska. Uh, said this, we you know he's associated with Bloody Disgusting. He said the Terrifier franchise embodies everything that's great about the iconic slasher flicks of the 80s, 90s, and it's nostalgic, it's dark, it's bloody, so it's no wonder the movie and especially Arthur Clown have become a staple for horror and Halloween fans alike. Fans are not prepared for, for what they're about to experience. So, after the film's apparent theatrical release, Terrifier 2 is then going to again debut on Screenbox, which is again powered through Bloody Disgusting, powered by Bloody Disgusting, rather. Uh, and it's a horror streaming platform with a broad mix of content. And I've, I've seen people talk about it. There's certain tiers that are available, of course. It's a streaming service. You can sign up for it on multiple platforms if you want to look into it. But for those of you who have been looking forward to Art the Clown and Terrifier 2 and this long overdue sequel to that 2016 film you're not gonna have to wait much longer it sounds like again they haven't stated a specific release date now if you've come across a specific release date in that deadline article or somewhere else let me know because i don't see that in this bloody disgusting article or in the deadline article that broke it exclusively first uh Art the Clown, Terrifier 2, coming to screen box after it has a short run in theaters later this Halloween season. So again, presumably we can expect this movie to come out in October of this year. It's nice to know that the movie is still committing to its release. It's coming out this fall. And it's nice to know that we have a team that's actually working to get the movie brought to us and not dicking us around. Another jab there at Jeepers Creepers 4. Can't get anything right. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to this movie. Looking forward to seeing what Art the Clown does in this sequel. I know one of the producers I did in my last video talked about how there's like this highly exciting finale. It seems like there's going to be a big game changing 1v1 from what I remember that goes down between Art the Clown and whoever our final girl will be in the movie. And they're going to have something that's going to 
be game changing apparently now what that is going to entail i do not know i know i'm excited to see it brought to life on screen i'm excited to see david howard thornton back as the character because again my thing with the terrifier movie is i saw potential in something great not saying that i don't love that movie or that i dislike it again i talked about how i like that movie and i'm a big fan of it but it seemed like everything else around david howard thornton was lacking in quality he was the he was definitely the thing that kept me around uh the all the potential i saw with this character with the premise and the concept and they did accomplish quite a lot for the minimal budget that they had and i have good a good feeling that what they're about to do with terrifier 2 is going to be outdoing what they did with the original movie i know david or damien leone seems like he wants to do something that's more character driven from what i've gathered uh, or at least that's what i hope he does anyway hope he gives us something more character driven something that allows us to grow more attached to whoever we're following with these siblings so of course you know sibling dynamics you know if, if that's the thing that's going to be common with most horror movies this year i'm all for it because again coming out of the black phone i'm all for a good compelling lovable sibling dynamic <laughs> uh, so if you can tap into something there with them get us hooked into them first before they are ripped apart from each other presumably of course by art the clown and before we get to that bloodshed and chaos and all this unhinged madness that's going to unfold when this movie releases that's going to be the thing i think would make me say okay this is much better than the original movie because i feel like with the two girls who were friends i wasn't really hooked or invested in their survival or lack thereof as much as i was hooked by david howard thorn and what he's doing is art the clown and how creepy he is and the exploration of him not knowing what's going on with him and the mystique surrounding him and you know all of these other different aspects i love the cool twist at the end how it reverted back to of course being the same woman we saw at the beginning with her disfigured face being the woman at the end of uh, i love all that love knowing she's coming back i can't wait to see the movie can't wait to see what everyone thinks about it can't wait to see this trailer when it releases because again this trailer hasn't been released yet damien leone again has urged everyone to subscribe to that youtube channel that he has and that'll be i guess presumably still where the trailer releases with other release info for us to know about let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.